What's going on? This is Magic Mitch, and in this food adventure, I'm taking on the biggest steak challenge Montana has to offer. And even though it's early on in this tour, this was actually a very significant and pivotal time that would set the tone for the entire rest of the trip. And this takes place in Billings, Montana at a restaurant called Bull Mountain Grill. And it's here that I'm taking on their 78 ounce steak challenge. That's right, with this challenge, you have a 78 ounce ribeye steak. And guess what? The sides that come with it, they're no slouch either, as you have a huge portion of their loaded mashed potatoes, which are topped with sour cream, butter, shredded cheese, chives, and also some bacon bits. Then you've also got a side salad, which honestly could be a meal in itself. And then to finish it off, you have a fairly large dinner roll. Now, if you're able to complete the steak challenge within the one hour time limit, you get the meal for free, which costs $110. And you also get a free shirt and your picture up on their wall of fame. Now there are two notes I want to make with this challenge. And the first one is that previous winners can only win again if they beat their previous time. Which is kind of interesting to see because usually restaurants don't even bring this up. I mean as far as repeating a challenge, typically it's either you can't do it again or you can do it after a year or so. So it is kind of interesting to see that the restaurant is actually addressing this particular topic. And the second thing is whoever is the current record holder for this challenge with the fastest time they get 10% off of everything at the restaurant, as long as they hold the record, which I will say is better than nothing. But I think in this case, it would be a little bit more enticing if the number was bumped up to say like 20%. And the reason why I say that is because I believe that there would be very few people in the area who could actually make use of this discount. Because first of all, they'd have to be able to beat the challenge, which with all this food is not exactly the easiest thing to do. But even if you're in the area and you were able to take down this huge steak challenge, I'd guess it'd only be a matter of time before your record gets broken by someone else. And also, that person breaking the record could very easily be another eater traveling through. So in that case, it's very unlikely you'd be able to reclaim it after. But maybe perhaps a local fast this time and an overall record would work in this case. I don't know. Those are just my thoughts on it, and I would love to hear what you think about it, so let me know in the comments down below. So for my third challenge on this winter tour, we got this big old steak with some big old sides too. But this wasn't anything I haven't encountered before and I was off to a fantastic start to this trip. So there wasn't really much to worry about and even less to worry about once I took my first few bites of the steak because let me tell you, I was pleased with what my taste buds were telling me. The steak was flavorful, tender, juicy, not over salted and all things considered just cooked pretty well considering that for the challenge, you do have to have it cooked medium. But thankfully, the quality of the food was not something I had to be concerned about in this food adventure. But while I was attacking the steak challenge, there was something I was paying very close attention to. Something that actually had me quite nervous. So why was I so nervous? Well, if you've watched a previous video where I took on that breakfast pizza in Wisconsin, I had mentioned something felt a little off during that challenge. Now everything turned out fine, I took care of business, and that was that. But over the next several hours after that challenge, that feeling I had turned into something worse. Something much worse. Because later that night, I became afflicted with a terrible case of the flu. Now I can't say this with 100% confidence, but based on my symptoms and all, I'm pretty sure I ended up catching whatever Randy had, as he had also been sick days before meeting up for this trip. So uh, yeah, thanks Randy, I really appreciate it. But anyways, I'll spare you the details, just know, it was bad. The likes of which I haven't felt in ages. But with the time I had in between to rest and recover, I had been feeling better. But my magical food fighting powers were not 100%, so I was on the fence about attempting this one. But I've had a pretty good track record when it came to steak challenges, and not that it helped, but old Randog had a few words to say to me beforehand. Some would say it was words of encouragement, others might say it was a bit of peer pressure. But at the end of the day, I made the decision to take it on, and so here we are, engaged in battle against this monstrous steak challenge. By the way, I feel sorry for whoever was treated with that little birthday surprise from the restaurant. 
though they did have pretty high energy and lots of enthusiasm. And I don't know about you, but I've never found that sort of thing to be very appealing or fun. I guess if it was a means to say embarrass one of your friends or family members, then yeah, okay, I can get behind that. So considering my condition, I was not looking to put on a show or anything like that. I just wanted to get this steak challenge down, one bite at a time, get the win, and maybe, just maybe, bust out a few post-challenge push-ups. And after that, just move on. And I also didn't focus too much on having a great pace to start with, especially since I had plenty of time to work with. But I was keeping a mental note of how my body was keeping up, just keeping in check on whether it was able to keep going and continue on, or if it would start to hold me back, say like if my stomach was still sensitive and started to fight back a little bit, which I was hoping that would not be the case, because that would be an even tougher obstacle I would have to overcome. Now, even though I was okay with having a slower pace against the steak challenge, I was still on the clock and I was beginning to realize that even with that slower pace, I was actually starting to fall behind from where I wanted to be in terms of progressing with this challenge. And also, I was starting to feel, well, we'll just say that even though we're in Montana, something was not right in Texas. I don't know if that's an actual saying or something I just made up, but basically, something was going wrong in my guts. And not in the I'm going to get sick kind of way, but just more in a way like my body was trying to talk to me saying, hey buddy, listen, I know what you're trying to do here and I completely understand. And in most cases, I'd be all for it. But uh, not today. Sorry, I'm just not in the mood. And if you keep this up, I'm going to fight you. Yeah, not exactly a situation I wanted to be in, but I continued to press on gathering my composure as best I could. And as I continued on, it became more and more difficult to continue the good fight. And at this point, I knew that any efforts to try to force myself to keep eating, not only would it not change the outcome of this battle, but it could also impact my ability to do any future food challenges on this trip. I wasn't exactly thrilled about it, especially since I could have avoided this whole situation altogether had I essentially listened to my cut, of all things, and not given in to some peer pressure. Including some by the way that came from Eager Ethan, aka the putrid filthmonger, who did complete this challenge before me. Which honestly, that has to be probably the most frustrating part in all of this. But at the end of the day, I made the choice to take this steak challenge on, and I gave it the old college try but I didn't have enough of my magical food fighting powers to take it down. And with that, I decided to throw in the white flag, or in this case, the red hat, and I accepted defeat, knowing that I would not be able to finish this steak challenge. <laughs> 